Welcome to the Lumension Device Control Video Vignette Series, in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of Lumension Device Control, now an integrated module on the Lumension Endpoint Management and Security Suite, to control the use of removable devices and media, like USB flash drives and DVD burners, within your network. Hello, my name is Chris Merritt. And in this episode, I'm joined by Chris Chevalier from Product Management to discuss how you can protect valuable data using Lumension Device Control. USB flash drives help make us much more productive, but unconstrained use could result in data loss or outright theft. Many organizations have policies which govern the use of removable devices such as USB sticks, but have no way of enforcing these policies. So, Chris, how does one put some teeth into these policies and, and prevent unwarranted behavior? Well, using Lumension device control, you really have a lot of flexibility as to what you can allow and, and not allow in an organization as far as uh, usage of devices. So you mentioned uh, these flash USB drives, right? And uh, maybe the, the same might apply to uh, removable uh, hard drives or, you know, the USB type hard drive thing that you plug in. And, um, so what we can do is through, there's several different options that we have in the policy which can control uh, how, how those devices are used, uh, very granular. So we can set up uh, different permissions. Uh, I can uh, keep a copy of files which are transferred on and off of these devices so I can kind of monitor what's uh, being done there. Uh, in addition to that, I can set a limit of how much data a user can copy uh, off to a device in a day. So there really isn't a good reason probably for somebody to copy a terabyte of data off to a, to a removable hard drive. So let's say we, we set up a, a 500 megabyte daily limit and uh, anybody that is copying more data than that, uh, we, we probably want to talk to him anyway, right? So. The, another option that we've got are, is uh, when this policy is going to be enforced. And there are a few different options. So I can set up policies which apply only when that uh, machine is connected to the server. And then I can set up a complementary policy for when that machine is not connected to the server. So I may want more restrictive policies to apply, for example, when a laptop is uh, being used at home or at, uh, at a customer site or something like that, and uh, more permissive policy maybe when when it's connected to our, our corporate server. The other option that I have, or another option that I have, is to be able to manage when they're allowed to use these devices. So I might I might be uh, more liberal with some devices, but you know, certain devices I may want to restrict their usage to when someone is around, you know, when they when should they be here. So I might want it during uh, business hours on, uh, you know, from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, and uh, outside of that they really don't need to be using this particular device. Uh, there's also an accommodation in here uh, for temporary policies, so if I need to grant someone permission uh, on a temporary basis, then I don't have to go set him a policy and then remember to revoke that policy later. I can just set it up and say I want it to be enforced until uh, this particular time, and then that'll go into effect uh, for him uh, or her that you know that user on that endpoint, and then that policy will expire at a given time. So we've got you know online, offline, uh, time of day, day of week, uh, those particular options. We've got the copy limit. Uh, in addition to that, I can say I just am only going to allow uh, read permission. Uh, I'll allow read and write permission. Um, I want him to encrypt those particular devices. Uh, file filters, something uh, we could talk about uh, in, in just a minute here. Uh, the other thing is I could set up different policies for encrypted devices and unencrypted devices. So if I only want uh, read-only on unencrypted devices, so I don't want any data copied off to an unencrypted device, I can do that. Uh, and, and then likewise, I can set up uh, different policies for hard drives versus the, the little flash drives uh, that, that hook up. And, uh, and then one more uh, level of granularity here would be 
uh, I can control what sort of files can be transferred back and forth to those devices. So if I don't want him to, if I don't want my users to be taking any Excel documents, uh, let's say I need everything needs to be in uh, PDF, then I'll allow those to be uh, imported or exported into my uh, organization and uh, I, I've got control over that as well. So uh, it, this is the, the shadow settings, whether I want to keep a copy of just the, the file names that are being transferred back and forth, or do I want a complete copy of every file uh, that that user's copied off. And then furthermore, I can apply this to particular groups of endpoints. I can apply it to specific endpoints uh, within my organization or uh, and or uh, individual users. So if I wanted to apply a policy which applies to a certain user on a certain machine, I can do that. I can apply this policy to uh, every user on a certain machine or every machine a certain user logs into or everyone across the board. So there are a lot of options within the, within the device uh, control policies to manage uh, you know, according and enforce according to your company policy. So, Lou mentioned device control really gives organizations a, a lot of uh, different types and degrees and levels of control over device usage and data transfer onto USB sticks. Yeah, all the options are there. I mean, as you saw, there are you, you can control uh, very precisely what is being enforced for your users. Great, thanks, Chris. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how Lumention Device Control will help you gain visibility and control over the use of removable devices and media in your environment. For more information, please visit the Device Control page on our website, where you can get free premium security tools to assess your network today. Thank you.